good morning guys happy thursday welcome back to my channel ah uh, you guys this weekly vlog i have been trying to film it every day but i don't know what it is i've just been in such um not even like a mood all week i'm just super overwhelmed like there's just so much going on and i'm just really overwhelmed with my corporate job there's just a lot happening and i've said this before but i think you can be overwhelmed like in a good way like i'm still relatively new to this role and the thing with my new job is yes i've been in this role for like six months but a big part of my job is obviously hr and there's like certain times of year where things happen and so even though i'm six months into my job there is still stuff i haven't even done yet because it hasn't come in the cycle yet so anyways i've just been really overwhelmed so overwhelmed that i also rearranged the offices yesterday because i needed to do something on my lunch break to like keep me busy and yeah but we're gonna make the rest of the week a great week and i literally have tried to film all week and it just like hasn't worked out i just like haven't been in a good mood and you can kind of tell in my vlogging like that i was in a mood but it's never too late to turn your week around and that's kind of the point of this video we have something really exciting happening tonight and so i wanted to make sure i was in a good mood today to document that for you and then i think we're going to go to the cottage this weekend we weren't sure if we we're going to get to go just because i have so much work and matt is super supportive of like if i ever need to set a boundary and say like hey sorry i can't do something like i have a lot of work to catch up on um so he was like it's up to you if we go or not like you let me know but I think we are going to go up. I think maybe it would do me some good to get away for a little bit. And yeah, but good morning. Happy Thursday. I'm drinking a coffee. Got up nice and early this morning. Just have like a nice slow start to the day. I mean, I absolutely did hit snooze from 6 to 6.40. I'm not going to lie. But we're here. We're up now. And it's going to be a great day. And I'm excited. I think I might vlog either like Thursday through the weekend and then also maybe add Tuesday in because I really want to go into my office because I got a new desk and I got new stuff for it. So I don't really know what this video is going to be, but I guess we'll see. But let's start this off by showing you guys me rearranging the whole second floor because literally why, why not? If you guys are new to my channel, this is where my office has been for a little bit, but it was originally in our other spare room before. And yesterday I just needed a change, honestly. So I actually brought matt's gaming setup in here which was in the other spare room um or I guess bedroom and i think it looks really good in here then my office is back where it was when we first moved in which i love this space mainly because the walls are nice and bright in here it doesn't get a ton of sun but when we first moved in we painted this room like right away and this was my office slash filming room but I just didn't have enough like stuff to fill this room up and this room I think eventually will still be a spare bedroom um, But originally it was just like my desk and that's like all I had I didn't have these bookcases or anything So it just looked really empty in here um, So I moved into the other office, which is the one you guys are used to seeing But recently since I got these bookcases, it kind of looks just like a little cramped in there so yesterday I was like, um, yesterday I was on my lunch break and I was like, you know what? I need some change. Maybe it'll do me some good to move everything around. And so I did. And I don't know about you guys, but as a kid, I was that person to like rearrange my room every like three months. I just love change. I love switching things up. So yeah, I don't think people realize that lighting is obviously so important. So anyways, we're back in this room and I love it love it too in here we have room for a dog bed and eventually if i fill these up i could always move them over and get a fourth bookcase so that's exciting and i have my pins here and yeah i just really 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 love it in here and i have to organize that still we are all set up for the work day i've got my coffee it's actually iced coffee in a mug some days you really just need that we've got monkey chill in here jump into it i only have one meeting today at 11 but i have a lot of other work to get done like tedious work if that makes sense so that's what i'm going to be spending my day doing but today's a new day it's going to be a great day i'm really excited for a little staycation and yeah also canva is down and i'm trying to get my video ready to go up today but canva is literally down so I'm not sure i'm supposed to upload a video without a thumbnail but yeah so let's jump into work I want to listen to a podcast i just don't really know what i want to listen to maybe i'll finish yeah i'm gonna finish this one because they're newly renovated so they're not
guys today is just like the epitome of turning your week around on a thursday and i'm kind of here for it um it's 12 30 i'm on my lunch break i just took cell on a quick walk around the block i didn't take her for a big walk because she's like i said she's having a sleepover at um <laughs> her boyfriend's house with tj the dog that we go to the dog park with um so i knew she was gonna have like energy like she would expel her energy when she's over there i figured she would like get all her energy out when she was like playing with the dogs and they also are currently fostering a puppy so it's just gonna she's gonna get all her energy out then and then i took a quick shower i feel like midday showers when you work from home just hit different and decided to come up the street to my favorite coffee shop you guys know art of bean co um I was kind of low-key hoping that they would have pumpkin because I heard second cup does but second cup is like super hit or miss to me so anyways um and their cold brew is broken so I just got an iced vanilla americano and they have the best breakfast sandwich I actually came because I was craving this and if you guys live in Ottawa you definitely need to come to Lunchbox in Orleans but I believe Lunchbox sends their sandwiches to Art of Mean they have they have the best breakfast sandwich it is like a I don't know if you can tell but it's basically egg bacon and cheese but it has dill mayo on it and it's it's divine i decided to treat myself to a little lunch because you know it's been a rough week and i want to keep the momentum of a good day going so i just don't have a lot of groceries in the house because we did chef's plate this week which is like a meal delivery service so i'm just realizing now that you guys are crooked because <laughs> i think i'm in like a pothole or something but anyways i'm gonna head home and I still have like 20-ish minutes left, so I think I'll try and reply to some comments because my reset just went live today. And yeah, and then like after work, we'll pack up super quick. I mean, we're only going on like a little staycation for the night, but I'll pack Stella's stuff and our stuff. And then I can't wait to take you guys along. I think it's going to be so much fun. So let's head home and get back to work. Little update. Hello, it's three. I just clocked out of work. I decided to work seven to three today and I have very flexible hours. So as long as I get my seven and a half hours in, that's great. Um, but I don't think I've even explained what we are doing. So, um, so Hilton actually invited us out to stay at their pop-up hotel, which is so cool. I can't wait to take you guys along. Like, I'm literally geeking. When I saw the Hilton in my email inbox, I literally almost pooped my pants. I was so excited. Again, is actually the 2022 CP Women's Open, which is like a professional golf tournament that's, you know, organized by Golf Canada big deal and yeah so hilton actually built a pop-up hotel like right on the golf course I, which is so cool it's good i i'm kind of considering it like a tiny house hotel tiny hotel so they invited us out to stay the night and i just i can't believe they thought of us because originally the hilton on the green the pop-up hotel is for contest winners so you enter a contest and you win a stay but they had one night open to like influencers and content creators and the fact that they thought of me I just it just blows my mind and you guys know if you watched my monthly reset i'm trying to work on being like more proud of myself and not automatically having this imposter syndrome so i'm just like so grateful that they thought of me to come and such a fun little staycation and get away from matt and i of course with like all the renovations and stuff so i'm so excited so we're heading there this evening um I believe that the rounds are done at six today, so we won't get to see any golf tonight, but that's okay. We'll have like a nice little night in and they were super kind and gave us like a voucher for food and I guess we'll just see what's there when we get there. I have like no idea what to expect. I'm so excited. So things we have to do is pack. Of course, I'm just going to bring a backpack with me. Matt will be home at 430 and then I'm aiming to leave by five. Um, I'm going to drop Stella off at Michaela's around four. I don't have to go get wine. I guess we'll just like start packing and kind of chill and wait for Matt to get home. But yeah, I'm so excited to take you guys along and I just can't believe it. Honestly, I really can't. Alrighty guys, I'm trying to fit everything into my backpack because we're just going for the night and I want to be able to bring like my computer and stuff. So I don't know how long we're going to stay tomorrow because it is going to rain, but I have like a cute little outfit. I have a Lululemon skirt and then like this black quarter zip. Um, and then I just have, you guys saw me, I packed my makeup, deodorant, makeup wipes, and then I'm going to bring my Kindle as well as one physical book. And then I just have a t-shirt and then a PJ set, just like a crew neck in the morning if I'm chilly. And then I'm just wearing these like white shorts, which will go with that and that. So that is all that I'm packing. Then I'm just going to wear probably my on clouds. Decided I'm going to bring things we never got over. I feel like that's a good one to read. All right. We just made it. <laughs> I didn't realize they were gonna shush us there I don't know if you guys can see it but there's our little Hilton Hotel I'll give you guys a tour when we get in there because it's really freaking cute look at the crickets it'll be so nice in the morning like how cute 
There's a little seating area outside. Maybe you should leave your shoes out. Oh no, it's gonna rain. So you walk in, the door's right here. We have this cute bed. This is the pillow stitch I was going for in our house. And they got us these little bathrobes that we get to keep. Oh, those are so soft. Cheers. They brought us wine. Cheers. Okay, and then sheets. These are the pillow situation I was going for in our house and it didn't work. The cute little side table. I've said that six times. And then a plant. Cute boyfriend. They brought us dinner. We have some steak sandwiches. I'm gonna show them in here. And then this so cool like an espresso and everything in here we were really hooked up also i don't know what brand their plates are but i really i want them we are in profit these are really nice isn't this nice it's like a speckled like it likes our ikea one mm -hmm. i like when plates are like this though look when they have like a, a rim i love when plates mm -hmm. have that mm -hmm. um, all of these snacks coffee crisp minis i'm literally gonna devour that whole thing tonight and then seating area, cutie little mirror, and then the bathroom is so cute. Love a little shower. I love the aesthetic in the shower. This is this is the vibe of our house too. White with black accents. I love. And yeah, we're literally on hole eight, and there's like people golfing right now. Here on our little balcony, and I think there's one more group coming, but we have like literally the best view of faith hole the next day I always pride myself on being really honest with you guys so <laughs> uh, um yeah so story time with Carter <laughs> oh man I'm just at the dentist right now obviously I can't believe I put this on the internet but everyone was like story time story time and Matt was like well keep the vlog going and I was like all right all right so obviously last night we got to the women's open and everything was fine i felt totally fine we ended up you know having a nice night outside and we went to bed at like 10 and then at like 10 30 i wasn't like asleep yet but i was like i gotta pee so i got up to pee which is not abnormal for me and keep in mind i felt totally fine i wasn't lightheaded or anything i can't believe i'm putting this on the internet oh my goodness <laughs> ah, wild Anyways, I like jump up out of bed to pee, which I don't know why I jumped out of bed, but anyways, I did. And I go to sit down and pee, and I got like super, all of a sudden like hot and sweaty, which I'm assuming was the warning sign, but I thought I was maybe going to puke. Like, you know when you're about to puke and you get like super hot and sweaty? So anyways, and I remember I was just like tired because I was obviously trying to fall asleep, so I was tired. So I finished peeing, and then I just sat there on the toilet with my eyes closed, but just because I was tired, not because I felt like faint and anyways next thing i know i don't remember passing out or like i don't remember literally anything at all and not like in a like oh i don't i hit my head i don't remember like i just don't remember i wasn't even lightheaded like i, I the last thing i remember is just like closing my eyes after i was peeing because i was tired which i feel like we all do that anyways so next thing i know i open my eyes and there's like a white around me and i was like oh it must be back in bed like it must be the morning time nah -uh. It was actually, I don't know, it must have been like, it wasn't that long because Matt said he heard me fall and then ran over, but I guess I had been sitting on the toilet and I fell face first. I don't know, maybe I had gotten up off the toilet, I literally don't remember. Like, I didn't even have time to like yell at Matt that I needed help. Anyway, so I woke up and I was on the bathroom floor and I am like kind of on my side like I can tell that I fell on my side like my face and then my side because I'm really bruised up here and on my wrists um and Matt's like oh my god what happened and I said like I don't know I was just peeing and like I've never fainted before so uh yeah that was fun <laughs> and Matt was like oh my god and I was like what he was like your tooth I was like your tooth and my tooth which is why my lip is so you can tell here is so beat up is because I fell on 
my face, I'm assuming, and my tooth rook was in my lip. It was stuck in my lip. It was the most disgusting thing ever. So, uh, I had to pull the tooth out of my lip, and yeah, and and then I was like, I felt like very, like just like lethargic and tired, but I was okay. But obviously, we're sleeping in this pop-up hotel on the middle of a golf course at 10 p.m. at night. And Matt was like, what do we do? And I was like, I really want to go home. Like, nothing obviously against staying at, like, it was so nice. But, you know, when you don't feel good and you just want to be in your own bed. So, anyways, we called security and they came over and, like, drove us back to our car. Uh, but, yeah. So, anyways, story time with Carter. I'm just really real and honest with you guys. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, and yeah, like, I don't know why I fainted. It could be a combination of things. Like, my BP obviously dropped, but, like, you guys know I've been struggling with eating and having energy after COVID, so I could have just not had enough to eat that day, and then we were, like, very overstimulated, and who knows, but I'm okay now. Um, I'm just tired, but that's because I also didn't sleep good last night. Like, we got home around 11-something, and then I iced my lip, and I, I was scared to go to bed, honestly, because I was scared, like... I was like, why did I faint? Like, and I was scared to go to sleep. Uh, and I just kept waking up to make sure that I was alive, honestly, which is like so sad to think about. But I just kept waking up, waking up. And so anyways, uh, I don't think I got like a great, great sleep. I'm trying to like cover my face. I don't want people to see me. Um, but yeah, that's an update on uh, what happened yesterday. I'm just being real with you guys. This is real life. And yeah, so I'm going to go into the dentist. My dentist is actually closed today. Um, and I'm just like, I'm trying to not be anxious about it, but... Um, I think I've said this before, I have a huge fear of the dentist. It's actually my old dentist when we lived in this end of town, but obviously you guys know Matt and I had moved. Anyways, my current dentist specializes in, like, anxious people and children, and so he's really, really good with me, because I'm someone who needs to be, like, walked through, like, what they're doing, and he gives me, like, a way to blanket, he puts Netflix on, like, it's a very relaxed environment. So I get really scared to go to new dentists, or, like, not even new, like, this is my previous dentist, but... It's really nice because most dentists in the area, I don't know if it's everywhere, but at least in Ottawa, they'll take emergencies, like, regardless of who you are because it's going through private insurance anyways. Anyways, so, yeah, I'm going to go into the dentist now and see what they say. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow at noon, um, but because a little far out, I don't think at this point I can get stitches, but just, I don't know, we'll see. The dentist could also prescribe me antibiotics and pain meds because the pain isn't awful, but... It hurts to, like, laugh because then the lip cut, like, gets fresh and rips. But we'll see. If the, if the dentist can prescribe me antibiotics, I don't know. We'll see if I end up going to my family doctor. But that's just a little update. Just being real and raw with you guys. I'm going to go into the dentist and see what they say. I'm, I'm going to, like, go into it with the assumption they can't do anything today. But they'll be able to take a look at least. And, yeah. But I'll keep you guys posted. I think we're gonna have pho for dinner because it's kind of hard for me to eat honestly especially like if it was just a cut or just a chip tooth it'd be different but it's, it's both so it's really hard to eat so on the bright side I haven't been nauseous in three days so that's really great uh, my COVID symptoms are going away but now I have to deal with this so let's go to the dentist and see what they say can my vlogs get more real and raw than this I don't think so home from the dentist now and all thanks to Matt, literally the dentist was like, thank your boyfriend. They're actually able to save my tooth. You can't even really tell. Um, so they just bonded my tooth back. So when I fainted last night, Matt said to leave the tooth in the like pocket of my cheek to keep it moisturized. And I was like, this is literally so weird, but sure, whatever. And then we got home and he literally had it in like a little shot glass with milk. <laughs> Anyways, the dentist was like, because he did that. He saved your tooth. So, at, FYI, if any of you ever faint and you chip your tooth, you're getting an educational lesson in this video to keep it in your cheek until you can get to milk. <laughs> and if you have dairy-free milk, I actually don't know if that would work. So, look that up. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. He said he doesn't know how long it'll last. He said it might only last, like, a year, six months. Like, you don't really know. Um, but it could last up to ten years. And then I can get a veneer or just, like, a crown on it. So yeah, that's super exciting. I feel kind of normal now. The tooth is really the biggest doozy. I mean, the lip is also a doozy. Um, and if you're wondering why it's so dark, it's just like dried up blood. So, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow just for her to look at it, but it's too late. Like, it's too late for them to stitch it. Fun week in the life over here. This is only day two of the week in my life. I have three, three more days of this. 
but we were originally going to go to the cottage this weekend i don't think we're gonna go just because my doctor's appointment is not till noon tomorrow and then like it just wouldn't be worth it to come back sunday and yeah so that's sad but we're gonna have a chill weekend we're gonna watch a lot of stranger things i'm attempting to eat toast right now i get a little bit of work done because i have like a decent like i feel fine like i have energy well i'm not like bouncing off the walls because i also didn't have coffee today but i definitely might take a nap um but i'm getting a little bit of work done stella is home from her little sleepover stella are you tired from your sleepover is right. this for both of us yeah it's for both of us we're having pho and on today's episode if we still don't know where our things are we don't know where the bowls are so i'm eating out of a pot soup got, so technically oh, i got some I don't even know. Beef, well done beef strips. I don't like any of that stuff, so you can have it. Look how big Matt's bowl is versus the amount of food. Oof. Oh, she's steamy. Yummy in a little pot belly. Oh. Saturday everybody my lip is feeling so much better today I wanted to give you guys just like a little update so it is Saturday afternoon I just got back from the doctor and I finally took a shower I feel so good I was like honestly this is like so gross but obviously after I fainted Thursday night I was just like super sweaty but then we got home Thursday and I was exhausted and just went right to bed and then Friday I was just so tired all day just from I think all the adrenaline and stuff and so I didn't shower and then today I finally had the energy to shower and I feel so clean and fresh but i want to give you guys a little bit of an update i don't even honestly know how in depth i said yet like what i said yesterday so yeah last night we just had a low-key night at home and for the most part i feel totally okay my lip actually doesn't hurt at all like if i didn't know it was swollen or like crusted over like i wouldn't know it's there because it doesn't hurt me at all if anything um I finally put my Apple Watch back on because I have fall detection and that's probably not a bad idea to have. It's healing really nice and whatnot, but I got such a good sleep last night. It was so needed the, right through the night from like 10.30 to 9. Like I had like 11 hours of sleep and it was so well needed. But anyways, today we just took it easy. Um, we went for a little walk this morning. I'm really trying to rest and like whatnot like clearly my body was trying to tell me something and i'm trying to rest and just take it easy but i went to the doctor and everything is fine um yeah she thinks i just vasoed out which is what matt thinks as well and i will say that like if matt was not an icu nurse um i probably would have gone to emerge or urgent care sooner but because matt is a nurse and our healthcare system is just really crumbled right now and wait times are like 12 plus hours matt was like we're just gonna keep an eye on you if you throw up or you get confused or anything like we'll go to the hospital and anyways so i went to the doctor and she just thinks i vasoed out she did like a full check of me and yeah she thinks honestly it was just a culmination of things um i'm not pregnant i don't have diabetes um i know that a lot of people's first thought was that i was pregnant like my mom even thought so some of my friends did because that's very common in the first trimester just with your hormone imbalances but i am definitely not i've taken a lot of tests because of the nausea in the last month but um, my doctor just thinks it's a culmination of a lot of things you guys know i've been really struggling with like covid long-term side effects like i haven't had an appetite i've been super lightheaded i have no energy she also said that sometimes we faint just because of like overwhelming stress in our lives or when we get really bad news and obviously you guys know it's kind of been I wouldn't say like the summer from hell, but we've just had a lot of stress from like grief and losing someone to having COVID and then starting the renovations. Like there's just been a lot of stress and sadness and I've been really overwhelmed with work the last few weeks. And so she thinks it was just like a culmination of like my COVID side effects and then also just a lot of stress. And um, I had eaten that day, I had lots of water, but the room we were staying in, um, like I said, we were staying on the golf course, like not in an actual hotel. But Matt and I remember it just being really warm because there was like a fan on top. And this is obviously like no shade to them at all. But I just remember being really warm. And so she was like, honestly, the warm and stuffiness of the room, plus you just like kind of not having any energy to begin with. I probably just got up way too fast. I, I do remember getting up to pee and Matt was on the outside and I was on the inside and I had to climb over him. So I kind of like shot up and climbed over him and walked to the bathroom. And so 
that's that um she said i don't really have any reason to worry but obviously keep an eye on it and you know um if i faint again i should go to the emergency room um just because obviously it could be a deeper issue but she said that you know she has seen this a lot with like long-term COVID side effects i don't want to scare anyone i just mean it's going to happen to you but she says it is sadly common and i've gotten quite a few dms from you guys as well just saying that that's happened to you like they, you asked if it was related to covid and typically i don't answer any unsolicited medical advice dms because you guys know as someone that has like an invisible illness and chronic illness like migraines it's just like it's just really anxiety inducing and it's just like a boundary i try and set but a lot of you guys have said that um because of covid that's the only time you've ever fainted as well so kind of interesting and i guess we'll see the long-term like implications of covid but yeah so she said i'm good um obviously she told me to just take it easy for the next few days it's hard because i definitely think that i have a lot on my plate between youtube and work and i just I've told Matt recently, I just feel like I'm getting to the time where I'm going to need to make a decision and I don't want uploading less on YouTube to be the decision personally because that's just what brings me so much joy. I don't want to reduce my uploads and you guys know obviously that is where like the majority of my income comes from. So I don't know. I'm just going to be pretty conscious and aware of it, but luckily I was super ahead with uploads so I shouldn't even miss anything, which is great. And I'm also very aware that like if I don't feel well, I don't need to vlog. You guys know me, you know that personally vlogging is super therapeutic for me and if i'm like having a low energy day or i'm not feeling well i won't vlog hence why like i didn't vlog this morning because i was just kind of feeling a little off and i'm only kind of pulling out the camera when i want to but don't worry i'm okay um i just find vlogging very therapeutic and a bit distracting because i definitely was anxious at first that i was going to faint again but um i've just realized i can't like live in that fear because it may just it may like it probably won't happen ever again um and my doctor was like, there's not really any reason to be concerned. People just vaso out, honestly. So one thing I did do was turn on my fall detection on my watch though and set up my emergency contacts just that way in case it were to happen again and Matt wasn't there, he would get alerted. But I'm feeling a lot better. I do just feel still low energy, but um, you know, my doctor said it can take a few days from because of fainting, obviously, and just the adrenaline from like losing my tooth and my lip and my lip and um can kind of take it out of you. So we're just relaxing um matt's actually gone to get a new fridge he found one on facebook marketplace so he's gone to pick that up with my parents trailer and we're gonna give my parents the fridge we have for the cottage we've been giving them our old appliances so that's exciting but we're gonna have a low-key night i think i'm just gonna watch some youtube last night we just watched stranger things and had our foe and just chilled out and i think the same thing tomorrow we're just gonna relax so anyways i'm definitely feeling better i still don't have a ton of energy but i'm working on consciously eating more my doctor said like you know um for the time being um i should probably and like trigger warning to counting calories here you can skip ahead like 30 seconds but i should probably just count my calories for the next little bit to make sure i'm getting enough in my body um so that this doesn't happen again but ultimately she thinks it was just stress and also just like my COVID side effects like you know when you're not hungry you don't eat enough and as much as i'm drinking enough you still need to fuel your body so that's kind of that update i wanted to give you guys kind of like a bigger update on how i'm feeling but yeah like i said my lip doesn't even hurt at all <laughs> which is crazy the doctor was shocked and every time i tell someone that my tooth went through my lip they are like shook my doctor was like are you ew that's so gross and i was like i know but stella has been so cute i'm gonna put a picture here that matt took this morning she has been so extra snuggly she's like a very snuggly dog to begin with but she's been so extra cuddly with me like she just knows something is up so that's what's going on but I think I'm going to sit and edit for a little bit just because, like I said, I find YouTube just very therapeutic and I want to sit on the couch and relax, but I also want to do something. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I just took some Tylenol, so hopefully my face starts to hurt a little less and I might ice roll and whatnot. I also want to try and finish my book today. It's upstairs, but I want to say thank you to everyone for your well wishes on Instagram because I've been keeping you guys posted in real time on there. I posted the funniest thing. I was like... We went to this brand event and I was posting pictures basically. I'll put it here. I was like, thank you so much to Hilton and Fuse and CP Women's Open for having us out. Like we had such a great night, but it was sadly cut short because I fainted and it was like the funniest thing. Um, not that it happened, but like the way I, the Instagram stories went up. Luckily I can do my job from the couch, which is awesome. So that is my plan and yeah.
right you guys say hello to our new fridge i need to clean the outside of it with the stainless steel cleaner but i'm honestly not up for that right now but we got a whirlpool we got it for 500 dollars off facebook marketplace they're just replacing it because they're redoing their house but this thing retails for like 2400 dollars. and you guys look how much more space there is like this is everything like we didn't really even throw anything out that was in our fridge before we have so much room which we're gonna try really hard to not just fill it up but it's so much more spacious it's and i'm obsessed I also love the freezer on the bottom. So anyways, this is what it looks like. So this is just like all kind of like meal preppy stuff. And then we've got some, well, turkey and then some ice cream bars. Oh, still is like food. And then up here we have like ice, ice roller, ice cream, reds, and then all of my smoothie stuff. And then our ice packs are back there, but I love it. So, Stella, that was Daddy's Facebook Marketplace find of the week. Super, super happy about it. You're welcome. Is this mine? Yeah, dinner tonight is our last chef's plate meal, and we actually ordered HelloFresh for this week just to try a bunch of them out. I think we'll probably do it like once or twice a month, but super yummy. Little koftas. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's currently 1045. Starting the vlog off a little later today because I've just been relaxing all morning, but I've been ice rolling more than usual, obviously, because it just helps the swelling. Plan for the day is not much. Um, we're just going to chill, hang out. I think we have to get some groceries. And I'm hoping I'm up for that. And then I think we're going to go over to our friends for dinner. If we were going out for dinner, I would say no, but since we're going to someone's house and everyone is a nurse, I'm kind of okay with it, but my lip is okay. Look, so much better today. I posted on my story that, like, it's so crazy, like, how skin works. It's so amazing. I had another really great sleep last night, and... Yeah, and yeah, we're just chilling this morning. Um, my mom got me some books at a garage sale yesterday, so I want to show you guys that. I will say today, it feels almost kind of like I have a bit of a lisp from like my um, lip. I don't know, that said my voice sounded a little different. Right. <sighs> and then I'll take you guys through my little fainting girl morning routine <laughs> but i just like ice roll basically until it's not cold anymore because it feels so good and i'll kind of like ice roll my wrist too oh, so good. good morning gang guys my mom got me these books she said she found them at a garage sale for me which is so sweet i've never heard of any of them but excited so this one it says it is a new york times bestseller something in the water kind of cool this one looks really good. I love a good historical fiction. Um, this one I do know because I love Megan Miranda as an author. So I'm excited about this. The Book of Lost Names. I feel like I've heard hype about this. And then The Headmaster's Wager. So anyways, super sweet of her to drop those off for me. We do polysporin three times a day, morning, afternoon, and before bed. And in between the polysporin, it's very important, Matt said, to keep it moisturized because that's what helps it heal. So then I just do Vaseline in between my usual sunscreen and make sure to put on your Apple Watch. Are you having a little snuggle with Olaf and Monkey? You guys said you really like to see our grocery hauls and like how like how much we spent on groceries but anyways i think this is 104 dollars but we didn't get any meal stuff because we're doing HelloFresh this week and we got a coupon for like 30 dollars or 34 dollars for three meals so 130 dollars technically for all this and our three HelloFresh meals i think is a pretty good deal so we have gala apples bananas grapes blueberries cucumber we try and get the salad kits that are on sale because we will eat them within a day or two um hot dogs and then i think it's like a fun game we'll try and find things that are like on clearance and then base a meal around it so we saw this and i was like let's do nan bread pizzas because we have nan bread in the freezer so it's a fun little game some prosciutto cheez its croissants um mini wheats matt's creamer i got a cold brew just because i don't have the energy to make a cold brew right now and it was on sale for four dollars uh our fave no sugar added pink lemonade milk 
uh, plain yogurt for me, vanilla yogurt for Matt, you know the drill. And then Ben and Jerry's was on sale for $3.88. So I got this one. I've never seen this before. Oh, Canada. It has fudge covered waffle cones and caramel swirls. And this is our favorite. Like our all time favorite is the tonight dough. Are we gonna get one? Like Don't worry, we're gonna get, oh, you want one of those? Okay, I'll get one on Amazon. Uh, sliced strawberries, bananas, and then, assuming this is new to Canada, and I'm assuming it tastes like Sprite. Mmm, I don't like Sprite, but it, taste like it Sprite? tastes like Sprite. It'd be good, like, in a cocktail, maybe. But I don't really, like, choose Sprite, but it's mm, pretty I good. I vibe with that. You like Sprite, though, I think. I like Sprite, yeah. I vibe with that. Man, Zevia people get it every time. There's not a flavor we've tried that doesn't taste. Like what it the tastes. only one I will say is like Coke. Like, yeah, it tastes like cola, but it doesn't taste like Coke. Like Coke is Coke. But the root beer one, the cream soda, the Dr. Pepper, the grape, like they all taste so good, the black cherry. Mm -hmm. mm. That's super yummy. Good. The other day, this is literally so smart. I'm sure this is a hack everyone knows, but we bought a bag of iceberg lettuce and then he cut it up like they do at Subway into like the little, like fine pieces and then you put it back in the bag which makes it so convenient to just reach into the bag and grab i know this is like probably not revolutionary but it's revolutionary in this household and it's kind of a game changer if you want lettuce so i'm just sharing that <laughs> uh i'm feeling so much better today you guys i'll give you a little update after but i've just realized that mornings are not my thing right now and that's okay but okay we've got some lettuce do you want sauce on yours or no? What kind of sauce? I don't know, roasted garlic? Or mayo or just butter? No, uh, probably a little bit of mayo. Okay. Babe, also what you did, I was just saying the vlog is revolutionary. Cutting all the iceberg lettuce and then putting it back in the bag so it's like easy to grab. It's kit, not kit, but like combo from, I can't see it, but this little cheese trio from Costco is literally the best one. It has jalapeno, cheddar, and mozzarella, and it's so good. And they're like hefty slice sizes. I feel like sometimes when you get a slice, it's not a good size. Yeah, it's sometimes It's really a good size. So, I'm gonna do mozzarella. Hey, can I do a bigger bin than just this small one? We have one that's Yeah, sure, there. those are the leftover freezer ones. Lunch meat, and then we gotta make a sandwich, and then all of it is <laughs> gone. Yeah. We're using it. Yeah. Okay, we got some lettuce. That one is mayo. Also, does anyone else agree that like Subway mayo and home mayo, it just doesn't taste the same and it's not as good? Bam. All right, we've got the sandwich, the veg. I'll put a few cheese it's on there. I'm trying to get my salt intake up. So. Cheeses. I'd put more, but there's no room on the plate for more. So just a few. Yum. 